before the engines roar at the Circuit of the Americas, some smaller races are underway in Austin. Now, you barely hear these cars, and each race is over in just about a second. KXAN's Kevin Schwaller takes us to a tiny track for what is a big deal to the teams competing from around the world. Blink and you'll miss it. The small carbon dioxide powered cars zip down this 20 meter track in just more than a second. Students put in long hours to get here. The F1 in school's world finals. Every day after school from 4.15 when we release to about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And those could be the early nights for Erwin Nera, who goes to Aikens High School in Austin. I remember at nights we would stay up until 5 in the morning getting our, our work done. And each team also has its own booth. If you look here, each team gets to design, analyze, manufacture, and engineer each car it puts on that track. Obviously, they'll have to go through the wind tunnel testing, just like in the real world of F1. Ultimately, they've got to test that car. They've got to race it down that track. Founder and chairman of F1 in schools, Andrew Denford, says some competitors have gone on to college and then to work in F1. It's a whole world of Formula One shrunk down into the classroom. And that's the idea, to raise awareness about engineering, math, science, and technology in schools, prepare students to go on to careers in those fields. I'm going into the United States Navy, and I'm going to be a nuclear engineer. Later this week, students move on from the mini track to full scale as they get VIP access the Circuit of the Americas. In Austin, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. And remember, you can watch the big Formula One U.S. Grand Prix live right here on KXAN. NBC will have special live coverage throughout the day next Sunday.